Hey guys, so um, we outside uh, on our balcony here. Um, it's been storming for the last few days. It's yeah. been a, it's been um, challenging to get some footage um, and show you guys what we've been doing, especially with all the rain. Uh, we have done quite a bit on the property. Uh, we did the nematodes. Um, we um, cleared up some weeds. Um, we planted some things, and then also on top of that, um, the storm cost a little caused a little damage not very much but caused some damage especially to the, the wildflower flower garden and as well as the marigold uh, island um but um we just wanted to come on to you guys and um pretty much just answer a few questions that we always get um when it comes to our lives um for those who don't know jamie and i both uh we work together, of course we're married and we own a farm. Uh, so our lives consist of us being around each other 24-7. Um, um, we hardly get a, get a separation and um, people wanna know how does that work. Um, not how does it work when it comes to work, farm, um, personal life balance, but how do Jamie don't kill me? <laughs> and so I just wanna, <laughs> Elite, clear the air and say help <laughs> real talk call the cops please do this, this is a bruise <laughs> so check this out folks oh lord <laughs> after Ryan spoke to me a few times I decided I would allow him to take me out to lunch Wow, is that how that happened? <laughs> Interesting. Now, I, I did admit, I did say hi every day for a while. I, I'm going to admit that before you said you hello. Did. You did. But is that really how that happened? Do you want to tell that story? You want to tell the true version of that story? <laughs> or you want to fib to the people? You know, there was a small part of me that says, give that man a chance. Mm. Give that man a chance. Mm -hmm. And so one day I did. And I asked him when he was gonna take me out to lunch. That ain't how that went, neither. And he and he said he would take me out. He said when, and I said, well, now. Mm -mm, that ain't how that go. <laughs> you gonna get? It's raining out here. She about to get us hit by lightning. I got my lucky hat on. It ain't about to get, she about to get us. I'm moving. As you can see, I'm moving away because <laughs> I ain't about to get hit by lightning. Well, no, you I'm saw lying. it then. What happened was you finally said hello, and I said hi, and I said how are you doing. And you, then you asked me, and I said, "Good." Now that you have spoke, and and I and then I can't remember what happened from there. But you went to you went to your class, and I went to my class. And then I was out. For some reason I was outside of the class walking, and I heard steps <laughs> behind me. It was kind of like in a scary movie type deal. You're. Ch -ch -ch. And then nobody else is in the hallway but you. And you look back and like, there's nobody back there. And then you start walking again. You're, ch -ch -ch -ch. I'm, like, I'm like, what the? And then, and you start walking a little bit faster. And then you hear, you hear those steps and you pop out. And then there was Jamie. And then she was reading something on the wall. And I was like, oh. And I, so I kept walking. And she'll start walking, and then I'll look back again, and she was reading something on the wall, but there was no wall. There was a door, there was nothing there. There was an opening for a door. <laughs> and I said, she's following me. And I said, yes. And then I said, she's following me. And then so, you, I, I said, I finally I said, so when are you gonna take me to lunch? <laughs> That's what happened. That's the true story. And you said, you should be taking me to lunch. And I said, let's go. <laughs> but honest God truth, I ain't had no money. <laughs> so I had to call my employer. And for those who know, I uh, worked, I was a uh, personal caregiver for a uh, quadriplegic. Yeah. And that's how I put myself through uh, my first year of college. <laughs> and so I called him and be like, hey. $20. And <laughs> he said, yeah. I said, hey, I uh, left my wallet at home. Uh, can you, uh, can 
can we uh go by my house and pick up my wallet and I'm like, let's go to KFC. Cause I know KFC was like the cheapest, <laughs> but nice to me, nicest restaurant. So as we went to KFC and I was praying to God, she didn't order anything over the chicken tenders. <laughs> I said, please, Lord Jesus, don't let her order more than the chicken tender meal. Because she ordered a chicken tender meal, I only can get myself a biscuit and a drink. <laughs> <laughs> so she ordered, sure enough, she ordered a chicken tender meal. And I ordered, I think I ordered a chicken tender. We both had the chicken tender meal. Yeah. And we've been together ever since. We sure have. We just sure we, have. We have. That's it, a good story. Yeah, that, but that's how it happened. <laughs> that's the truth. <laughs> I don't know why she always fibbing to people like I chased her. I mean, yes, I did pursue Miley, Miley, but but yeah, you had something to do with it too, Miss Madison. <laughs> but yep. Yeah, so, but no, we've been together ever since. I mean, yeah. And I mean, we've had we, our ups and downs. We did. We started our family really early. We did. We started our family early. Oh, that was a challenge. That, that was, was a challenge. <laughs> I mean. It was a challenge financially and yeah. emotionally um, because we was it was all new to us. Um, we I barely come, knew each other. We didn't know each other that well, and um, I come from a single parent family home, so yeah. there's no father dynamic in, in my household. So to to learn how to navigate being a father and a spouse was challenging because there was no blueprint for me. There was not. There was none. You uh -huh. wanna know what? How I know that? Um, how I knew that our marriage was gonna last? How? Because you asked my dad. You asked my dad for for my hand. Yeah. And Were you impressed? You yeah, know what he it, said it to me? It meant a lot. Yeah. You know what he said to me? What? There's no returns. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I haven't won a returner. <laughs> fortunately, we started our family young. Yeah. And I was, a, I'm not gonna lie, I was a young knucklehead. Um. I was, trying, trying no, to, we did some really stupid we, stuff. We done some crazy things, but yeah. we seen each other at each other's worst, which wasn't I wouldn't say worst because it wasn't that bad. Everything we done in life was a learning experience, mm -hmm. and it wasn't like we was out there doing anything egregious or anything like yeah. that. Yeah, big word, egregious. Um, so, but, but you know, we were young, and, yeah. and as we were, you were twenty one. And I was 20. Why are you putting my business out in the streets? You were 21. Who cares? You, they can do the math. Devon's 19. <laughs> they don't know what my current age is. You're 48. Oh my God. I am not 48. Yeah, I'm 48. <laughs> don't ever talk about a woman's age on camera. Are you out your mind? You robbing the cradle. You know you're 48. <laughs> Cut that out now. <laughs> no, we're both the same age. Uh, but yeah. she's a few months older than me. Mm. But um, but all seriousness, um, you were young. We were young. Yeah, we were young. We, we were young, and um, you know. But honestly, if, I always say, would I would I have done it differently? I don't think I would have. <sighs> you know, I may have taken a few different different steps, but I mean, I mean, possibly getting married before, yes. Um, but with that's not a deal breaker. No, but I mean, what, what I'm saying is um. Who at the age of twenty years old thinking about getting married? Yeah, because we didn't yeah. we didn't get married because we had a son. No, we didn't get married. We for waited. That. Yeah, we waited to, to make, make sure, sure, sure that, that we. But it was like <laughs> it was like you're making sure, but you had a child. But we don't we didn't want to we didn't want to put a, put ourselves in a position where we felt we had to be in a marriage for our child. Yes. We wanted that to be in the marriage. He, he for each other. For each other. He, he, it was never he had not ne never had anything to do with the relationship dynamic and so to speak to say that this relationship's gonna work or this relationship's gonna yeah. fail. Yeah. Um, we never want our child to feel that way. Yeah. But um back to the topic though, it from my perspective, relationship is just a balance. It, it it's you have it's a give and take. Yeah. All, all, all honestly honest honestly, um I mean, she she tells you that we have we have some tough times, but our tough time is nothing compared to what some pe other people might think it is. It's she may pout or I may pout for about five minutes, but we it's all we we each all what we each should have got. So you better get over it, or you won't be talking to somebody for a while. So we we sit there, we pout for a minute. She she goes to her corner and she breathes deep, deep <laughs> for, for about ten minutes. And look at me hard, and I just sit there and smile at her. You, you are 
One, you are probably one of the funniest people I know. But here's a song I want to <laughs> sing. She hates yeah, that. She yeah, hates when I, I do, do that. I do. <laughs> you, you always make me laugh. You Don't do. worry. <laughs> be happy. Don't worry. Oh. Be happy. But I would say you are the only one in the world that can make me absolutely spit and mad. Like, I, I've never even come close to be spitting mad. Spit and mad? What's spitting mad? You know what spitting mad is. Because you, when you yell at them, you spitting, spitting all everywhere. in my face. Yes. <laughs> That's what that... That puts in context because she did just bleak all over my face earlier. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. But no, I love this woman. I really do. She's had my back since the day we got together, which is, and like I said, I have put you in some weird predicaments. I have. Okay. I have. But, um. Been through a lot together. Yes. You wouldn't believe half the stuff I told you. Yep. Nope. I mean, just some of the trials and tribulations of mm -hmm. us as being a couple and being young parents, being young parents, and you know, maybe people not understanding our young, dynamic. Yeah, young young adults at that. So yep. everything was happening quick for us, but um, I'm, we're fortunate we stuck it through because man, we probably wouldn't be here right now. Um, yeah, man. There's a plan. There's, yeah. I feel like this 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 is this is part of the plan. Yeah, it is. Um, so yeah. So, but no, back, if she let me get my thought process out, um, so, but yeah, it's, it's all about, it's all about give and take. We, uh, we've been where we need to bend. Um, um, a buddy of mine has always said, said it best. He said, um, there's a derecho that came through, uh, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, and he helped on derecho and confided, confided in him. He said to me, Ryan, relationship is like these trees out here. You see these trees standing? Uh, when the wind was blowing hard, you know what they did? They gave a little. Mm -hmm. They gave a little. Flexibility. Yep. It, it, they were flexible enough to bend, but that tree over there that fell down, it didn't want to give. And the wind didn't want to give, so it lost. And so, and he's right. That's what a relationship should be like. Uh, he put that in perspective for me. That's what, But that's what we've been doing for all of our lives, um, is having each other back and bending and giving when we needed to get, bend and give. And it worked. It worked. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think so too. Yes, and then um, it's never a dull moment. Yet. It isn't. We we we're constantly moving. I always have good ideas, and and she, you know what? She's a trooper. She's a trooper. She really is. Like that 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 tarp situation. I don't think nobody else would have been out there with me. <laughs> you like you out of your mind. That's 90 mile per hour wind. I am not gonna be blown to Des Moines putting out a tarp. <laughs> but she's like, okay, let's do it. <laughs> you say we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. I'm like, oh, cool. <laughs> but yeah, that's how our relationship works. Um, mm -hmm. and plus, we both crazy. And we know it. That is true. That is true. But uh, another question that we get is, why do we farm? And I think, that's mainly me, and I think you just my support system. It's been a it's been a life dream of mine. And I, I'm, I'll be frank with you guys. Um, growing up single parent mom, um, it was it was a difficult it was very difficult for my mom, and I I commend her. Uh, my mom's also blind, so who don't know that? Um, but it's, I commend her for what she what she had but done. She for lost her. her sight when you were four. Yes, she uh, she. She lost her sight due to gun violence uh, when we, when she was when I was four, and um, so it was a major transformation for our entire family, which required my sister and I to grow up a little faster. And my mom played both roles as mom and dad, um, and she did a lot for us. Um, she sacrificed a lot, and, but once again, we had to assist, and we learned earlier early in life about finances um, so we were able to compute um, the, the the debt versus the asset yeah. debt versus asset and how the debt up here and the assets are down here something ain't right you know so so at a young age I knew that there were some things I need to ch I, I, I will, will change in life and 
when I was growing up, one of the most funnest thing moments I had was when I would go over to my cousin's house, um, and they lived on a farm. Um, they, we only they only had cows out there, um, but it was a farm, and that was one, some of the, I guess the funnest moments I had. And I, I it was like when I got became an adult, I knew I wanted to own a farm. Yeah. I just didn't know when and where I would own that farm, um, but. Bringing that to a full circle, a farm is something that, this farm is something that I'm going to pass down to my son and he'll be able to pass down to his kids. And so there's one thing I always said to my son, I always say to my son, in order for there to be generational wealth, you got to have generational poverty. Um, meaning that there's some people that have, don't have that ability to pass things on to their kids to help create that wealth and I wanted to make sure that we have some kind of mechanism in place where we're able to create something for our uh, generations to come I should say um, and that's that's why I mean I love farming I would I wouldn't change this in the world if I could actually farm full-time um, no offense my the company I work for I love you guys as well but if I could farm tomorrow and make a living out of it I'll be out there. He's a flight risk. I wouldn't say I'm a flight <laughs> risk per se. I'm flight risk adjacent. <laughs> yeah, YouTube start popping. And the subscribers start coming. And the crops start flying off the shelf. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Hashtag flight risk. Flight risk adjacent. <laughs> adjacent. I do like money though. So I'm adjacent. That means there's flight risk over here and me looking with binoculars. <laughs> yeah, um, but if you guys have some questions for us, you guys want to know anything, we are an open book. Feel free to drop comments below. Uh, we will be what, happy to you're share. You're an open book. Your book closed? I got all her, I got all her secrets. <laughs> I've been working for 21 years and I got a journal. I get, at night I get my I get my uh, my little snuggy my blanket and I be in there dear diary <laughs> you would not believe what Jamie said today she said Wachita <laughs> and it's Are Wichita you serious? <laughs> and, and it's Wichita she thought look at the word she thought Jeep upside down and back it was, was D er <laughs> D er and it's deer. You know, it's those random car rides with your kids, right? And that was a long like, time well, ago. Yeah, you know, he was like, hey, mom. We was riding in front of a Jeep. He said, what is Jeep upside down and backwards? He and y'all both was at there trying to sign up. And I'm like, look at these sap suckers here. <laughs> and you like, D R R. <laughs> D R R. I'm like, it's deer. It is deer. It's literally deer. God, let me get out of this car. <laughs> you totally did that. <laughs> oh, and the mind like, still talks about that to yep. this day. <laughs> or the, what is it? You said to me, hey Ryan, <coughs> you would never believe what Pliace said. <laughs> Pliace. I said, who is Pliace? He's a rapper. Pliace? Are you saying Plies? <laughs> he is not French. He is from the South. That's Plies. <laughs> Pliace. <laughs> oh, I was like. Mm. Yeah, let's wrap this up. We gotta wrap this up. We gotta wrap this up quick. You want me to take that thing about say it's, it's a wrap. It's all right. a wrap. But it, all right, guys. But no, all seriousness, we are open book. Feel free to ask us any questions. We we enjoy it. We, we really would enjoy. It. We we love the comments. Uh, keep, keep them rolling in. Uh, make sure you guys honestly tell a million friends or two. We appreciate it. Make sure you like the video share it subscribe and we'll catch you guys on the next one peace